Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to find out exactly which Squarespace template and version you're currently using. Not only does Squarespace have multiple templates, but they've also thrown in two different Squarespace versions, 7.0 and 7.1, so figuring out what you're actually using is a little tricky. And it's important to know because they're all quite different. And if you're following the Squarespace guides or any guides or tutorials online, you'll need to know this so you can know which guides to follow. Luckily, it's so easy, so let's jump in. Okay, so this is gonna be a really quick one. Whether you're using Squarespace 7.1 or Squarespace 7.0, just go ahead and click help in your sidebar and scroll to the bottom. So I'm gonna do that in both versions here. Over in Squarespace 7.0, it's gonna tell you immediately which version you're using. So it will say version 7.0. And then after that, it's gonna tell you which template family you're using and then which template you're using. So that is all the information you need right there. This is the name of the template you chose in the first place, but that template is likely part of a bigger family. In Squarespace 7.0, the templates are grouped into families, which essentially means they have the same underlying structures and functions so everything in the Brine family has the same structure and function, even though it might look quite a lot different on the surface, they behave exactly the same. So that's what makes them a family. This is gonna help when you're reading Squarespace guides or other tutorials, because a lot of people will refer to just the family name and you can take that information and apply that to your own site. You don't have to look for the exact template. You can actually just read information about the family because that's gonna tell you exactly what you need to know. If your template doesn't list a family, it's likely that your template doesn't have a family, maybe it's one of a kind. In that case, you just look up the information for the template name. All of the families have the same functionality and they group them in families because of that, but that means that the different families actually have completely different functionality. So with Squarespace 7.0, it is a little bit confusing because you could go from one template to the next. And if those templates are in different families, you're gonna notice a lot of differences in how the design of the site behaves, what you can do, what you can't do, and like functions and elements that are included because those change family to family. Before you go changing your template, it is important that you know what you're getting yourself into. If you decide to change template family, do expect that there will be some differences in how the website and template behaves. If you wanna learn more about this, we have a full post on it, so I will link it down below the video. The cool thing about Squarespace 7.0 is that you can actually change your template. So if you go back, click on design, template, this is another way of seeing which template you're using. As you can see, which template here is live. Just like it said before, we're using the Miller template. It's live. Here you don't get the information about the family, so I do think the other way is better, just to see exactly what you're using. But this is where you can actually install a new template. You can choose something from a different family or the same family. So just beware when you install a new template, like I said before, different families have different functions. So just be prepared for what you're getting yourself into if you do install a new template onto your site. And that is it for Squarespace 7.0. Coming over to Squarespace 7.1, you'll see when I scroll down to the bottom of the help panel, all it says here is Squarespace version 7.1. There is no mention of any template. And this is because Squarespace templates work quite a bit differently than they do in Squarespace 7.0. Because while you do need to start Squarespace by choosing a template, on Squarespace 7.1, all of the templates are essentially the same. So they look a little bit different on the outside, but the bones, the structure, all of the functions are the same kind of like how the families work in Squarespace 7.0. You could almost say that every template in Squarespace 7.1 is part of the same family. So that means when you start with one template, you could technically achieve any of those templates by just tweaking the designs within your website. I think for that reason, they didn't include your template name, so you can't actually see which template you started with, and you also can't change templates. So if you wanted to sort of start from scratch, start fresh with the new Squarespace 7.1 template, you actually can't do that. 
I kind of understand because essentially they're all the same anyway, but it is a little bit annoying because it is nice to start with the template sometimes. So I don't really know why they took that function away, but I guess they expect you to just customize it yourself. If you came here expecting to learn how to change your Squarespace 7.1 template, I'm sorry to say that you can't actually do that. If you are still on a demo and you wanna change your template, just start fresh and start another demo. But if you are on a paid plan already or your site is live, then it's not gonna be as simple as just starting from scratch because then you'd have to move your subscription and your domain and it becomes a huge ordeal. So you're better off just tweaking the layout and customizing it yourself. That is pretty much it. I will link a list of the 7.0 templates and the 7.1 templates below and also more information about how the templates work. So you can have a read up on that if you want to. Otherwise, I hope this helped and thank you for watching.